Hi, welcome to the Artycraft Yakimist Plans. Today I'm using Kaisercraft's Whimsy Wishes in my planner layouts. I'm the Artycraft Yakimist. Let's get started. I'm just going to grab my pages. I'm going to swap out these two pages and go with these two as this has the end of month review on it. It's gotten a little beaten up, but that's all right. We will work around it. I haven't actually cut any pieces of paper yet because I thought I would look and see what I could do. That's not gonna work. That will. I just need to work out where that was. I'm going to grab my liquid paper tape Flip these over and add some tape to them. This is the forest foliage border strip. And then I'm just going to cut that excess off. These are some of the cutter parts and I think they're really pretty. So where I can use them, I thought I would. And then if I needed to add some extras, I would. Going to cut one and three quarters by two and a half. I'm going to adhere all this down and then I'll be back. I have changed a couple of things. I decided to switch out the ornament and add the snowflake pattern and the branch on there and I have added some foam tape behind some of my elements which I can't stick down yet because I need to stamp first. As this is going to be my last planner layout for the year I thought I would add some foam tape behind some of my pieces. I will be on holidays next week so I won't get the chance to do a layout for next week and to be honest, there's nothing to plan because I'll be away and I won't know what we're doing. I already know that Faded Jeans Oxide works best with this colour palette. I'm going to go with Stars, I think. The Lawn Fawn Plan On It stamps. Adding on my Oxide. And then I'm just using a blending foam to smooth it out. I'm going to get my little December. Then I'm going to get the numbers, starting with number 20. When you just realised you looked at the wrong date, it's today's date and it's Sunday and I'm now a day ahead. Oh my word. I am going to have to fix that later. I don't have time to fix it now, but what I'm going to do is cut little strips of cardboard and stick them over the top with the correct numbers on it. I can't believe I did that. <laughs> well, I can actually. I'm in a rush because my kids are at church and I'm trying to get this done before they get back, which means I'm making silly mistakes. Actually, I'm going to have to fix it because I need to take photographs. So I need to start with 21, 22, 23, and 24. Don't like how 24 turned out, so I'm going to do it again. A little bit better. All I'm going to do now is actually I'll put the tape on here first. That's going to be easier. Put a strip of tape behind it and trim down each of the numbers. 21. I didn't add tape to the back of that one. Miss Jeff. As always, Kitty's decided she wants to be the star. And I've forgotten to put tape on half of these things. I need tape down the middle of this one, it'll be fine. The rest can just be to help hold it up. I am going to choose some pens now that that is all stuck down and then I'll come back. This is my colour swatching. <laughs> okay, Monday. Well, I think I need to add washing to that. Wednesday, I'm going to the store and mum's. Tuesday, I have an appointment at 12.30pm. Thursday, I have a course at 12.30pm, but it may be moved. So I'm just 
that's tentatively. Friday is Christmas, presents, food, fun. No working on Christmas Day, hopefully. <laughs> May happen, but I'll try not to. So just in case I don't get my planner edited tonight, I'm going to add planner here. I have to do second edit on a video that I want to go up tonight. Need to work on Christmas shopping list. I know we're going to need to do food prep. I am going to add edit. Have another two videos I need to get edited before Christmas Day. So I think I will just keep adding edit everywhere. I'm going to add a social up here. Social here. Not sure when we're going to do our Christmas shopping. Could be there too. Or there. Might add Christmas shop here. I'm not sure. My daughter is down. Saturday will be travel. Sunday will be holiday. I don't know what's happening, basically. <laughs> Things I need to get done also is cleaning. I need to move a lot of my craft stuff out of the lounge room so we have enough space. I need to wash sheets. I need to sort clothes. I need to pack on Christmas Day, most likely knowing me. I think I'll add washing here as well. Because we haven't had a washing machine in so long, there's a fair bit to get done. Clear table. We have a lounge we don't really use, so I have to clear the lounge as well. Wash Christmas dishes. Said, I don't know what's going on those two days so I can't really plan for them. I do need to do a lot of cleaning in preparation for Christmas and I'm going to my daughter's I think on Boxing Day so I need to get prepared for that as well. I have a person who's coming to feed my cat so she'll be fine. <laughs> she'll be annoyed that we aren't here and she's probably going to doubly annoy me when we get back but that's okay. That is my final planner layout of the year. I hope you enjoyed it. Merry Christmas everybody. I hope you have a great Christmas and a Happy New Year. I probably won't be back until just after New Year's. If you enjoyed this planner layout please don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to see more content like this and hit the bell notification to know when new videos come out. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time. On a side note, I'm in Australia and I'm going to somewhere there is no COVID. <laughs> going to Sydney this time as much as we'd love to go to Sydney going past Sydney to a COVID free area so we are staying safe I'm not traveling to areas where we could get into trouble especially as my older daughter is pregnant and we're going to her house so we are avoiding spots like the plague we won't even be stopping in Sydney when we drive through because it's not safe now on that note I will see you all next time bye for now